Hey, how's it going everyone? This is Coach JC. Everyone gather around should be a good one today. Today's topic is, what are my thoughts about long distance relationships? Well, my thoughts are, hey, you know, long distance relationships, just like a regular, regular relationship, definitely have to put the work in, definitely have to continue to point at one another. It's gonna be a little bit different, uh, especially if you guys are maybe two hours away and you guys don't really, are not gonna, don't plan on seeing one another but maybe twice or three times a year. So you have to be very intentional with your conversation. There's not somebody who can just drive up to or pull up on in like 20, 30 minutes, 40 minutes, an hour. So you have to be very aware of that, especially y'all that live in different states and y'all might be in different uh, time zones. So that could be, it could be a factor too, but it is like a relationship. You know, you gotta have trust, you gotta have Good communication skills, gotta be able to talk to one another, communicate, be able to, you know, solve problems, uh, and really just be there for one another and be a little bit more because you all are not, like I said, physically there for one another. So if something happens and it's like, you know, you really can't physically be there, but you can still maneuver, maneuver throughout situations. So, like I said, but one thing you have to do is just, uh, just be all in, just be locked in, uh, and then. What locked in really means is just, hey, you know, I'm intentional with you. Like I said, I'm going to stay focused on you. I'm not going to cheat. I'm not going to talk to nobody else. We're just going to exclusively be together. And when we we meet up, you know, it's going to have, we're going to try to have great memories with one another. We're going to try to share great experiences with one another. And sometimes as, sometimes it can get lost in the sauce. You're, you're just not focused you know, that's not, that's not something for you. You can't be with somebody. You guys have to be with, be with somebody physically uh, three, four times a week or, you know, then it's probably not for you because you definitely have to have those restraints because, you know, because there's somebody, you know, you're not going to be able to say. You have to build that up. Um, you have to be able to base time with another. That's, that's one thing. And I know that was something big when I was doing it. Like, I think... Wow, I'm saying like 10 years ago, <laughs> a little old right now, but um, like 10 years ago, like I said, uh, you can't get catfish because <laughs> I was, uh, I think I was talking to somebody, they, um, the cat, they always had these pictures of why you couldn't get on the camera, and I was like, what's going on? And me being young, me being naive, I was like, um, yeah, that's not going to work stuff out. I kept asking for money, and I'm like, I was like, could be catfish. I'm like, you're not gonna be woman enough to, you know, share 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 your screen or you no know, video chat. And I was like, that's a no go. And nowadays, that's kind of no brainer. Like, if you meet somebody and you're not, uh, <laughs> they can't voice, they can't, you know, voice call with you, then you know, that's somebody I'm not gonna really deal with. It's a huge red flag. You know what I'm saying? Right off, right off the jump. So you're not able to communicate. You're not able to communicate or <clears throat> you know, FaceTime one another, you know, then definitely, like I said, that, that's a red flag because that might be a situation where they might be living with somebody or they might be, you know, staying with somebody. And so you just have to be very conscious and aware of you're doing long distance relationships. And you have to make it uh, intentional as far as where you guys can see each other. So get your days lined up, get your PTO days lined up, see y'all can, you know, find a day that can work best for y'all. You can go to her town, she can go to your town, and, you know, it, it's a good experience when you know, first, that first move, but you have to make sure that you don't get lost in it, because it's easy to get lost in and get caught up in, oh, somebody new, or oh, it's somebody, you know, it's a new town, it's a new city, I've never been here before, it's never been here, so you definitely have to have an itinerary for that person that you're bringing in, and vice versa, and she should have an itinerary for you, you, you lying to her. Uh, but like I said, that's just really like the the real part right there is like y'all kind of built that up the two months and then y'all finally see each other. And I was kind of like, you know, y'all kind of y'all kind of uh, escape a lot of the first first date questions. Cause a lot of times you meet somebody new. Let's say you meet her on Monday, not ten out of ten by Friday or Saturday, y'all are already exchanging numbers. Are already like going on the first date. There are you know special occasions where. It may be two weeks out or three weeks out, but most likely it'll probably be that same week. So just imagine that time builds up. You know, you you met, you met somebody in January and you don't see them until 
uh, March or April. So it's like, you know, y'all have y'all time where y'all can really just get to know each other on a mental level, on a conversational level, not just on the physical level. So it's just like, you know, yeah, it's cool. You know, it's cool to kind of see how you're at, you know, where you're at family-wise. So when y'all do meet up, it can be a lot stronger connection than just, you know, y'all just strangers. Cause that's y'all just talking, communicating daily, you know, having like that little 20, 25 minute window and, you know, just talking to one another, you know, getting to know one another, you know, there's a little gist when you meet somebody new and just gotta make sure it's authentic, make sure that, you know, y'all both are on the right track, you know, focusing on one another. It's sometimes easy to get off track and, you know, dab dabble in or just something they need to do online or just something just to, just to have fun. So be really intentional with your intention, be very intentional with your approach, you know, you, that person that you do like online dating, you're still dating people in real life as far as <clears throat> your school or where you work at or just some people just in general, then just be just be honest about that and you know, that person would appreciate that. Because even when they come in, you can be like, you know what, they haven't been the expectation that you are seeing other people and I'm all about honor and integrity. So that way they come in there, you just make some, you know, make you create a special evening, create a special day or week, however you want to do it, you know, really up to you, you know. So I just know for me, like I said, when I did it online, it was it was fun. Like I said, I flew flew into where she was at. Uh, she flew into me. We had you know a good time with different different memories we we went to, you know, especially like during the holidays and stuff was really special. But you know, for some reason, like I said, it didn't work so well. I'm glad it didn't, because I was able to you know, find my wife a few, <clears throat> a few years later. So, you know, appreciate the memory, appreciate the time spent, but, you know, it wasn't meant to be. And like I said, we left through love on good terms, you know, I had nothing bad to say about her, she nothing bad to say about me. And that's just how it is, you know. The time of relationships don't work so well. And like I said, me being married, like I said, you're going to have a lot of L's before you get to that one, so. You know, it's good to go out there, explore. It's good to go out there and get yourself out there because you, know, you got to have those principles. You got to have those, those those conversations before it prepares you for your next step or for marriage. You know what I'm saying? So never look at your losses as something as a loss. Look at it like, okay, just learn experience. Because sometimes, sometimes you need that. Sometimes you need that experience to, to elevate you, to get yourself grounded. You know, like, you know, that way you look back, okay, well, what I do this time? You know, what can I do differently, you know, in this situation, this scenario. So, you know, and it's just every every person is different. Everybody's aura is different, everybody's mood and everything is just different. You know, saying so, yeah, I don't really compare nobody, everybody's own unique person. So, you know, like I said, a long distance relationship, is that for you, not for you? Um, feel free to comment below. Um, but for me personally, like I said, it's it's really it's really for it's it's really up to the person. You got a self discipline, desire, and the drive, the hunger. It's the same way that you got to do with real life. People can be in the same bed, same household, still cheat. But like I said, you definitely got to have that intentional step to meet one another, and ultimately, you're gonna have somebody gonna have to move. And traditionally, <laughs> you know, I say you never want to be the man that's, that's moving in with a woman. But at the same time, though, it might happen. It might be like that. It might be that way, what God wants for you. So don't discourage that. Uh, vice versa, she might want to move in with you. But you got to have a game plan. And how long it's going to take. It may take a year or so to get everything, all the logistics, all the things settled in. But like I said, if it's meant to be, then it's meant to be. And there's people that have been a lot of this relationship, you know. They can travel, you know, back and forth. Especially they live an hour, two hour away, ten days. They can do that. <clears throat> I'm talking about like people that's like three hour away, four hour away. You gotta get on a plane, a boat, a plane to get to see that person. Then it could be a little challenging. But like I said, anything about the, that is meant to work is if some guy's time is it'll work itself out. But yeah, those are my thoughts about um, dating, <clears throat> long distance relationship. What are your thoughts? Have you ever done it? Uh, feel free to comment below. I would love to see it, love to hear from y'all. Uh, until next time, make sure you like, share, subscribe to this channel. Until next time, out, Coach JC.